What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that so you don't miss out on any of my videos. In today's video, we are testing out some makeup that I bought from Amazon. I don't even know how I came across this makeup, but I did when I was looking at it and I started reading the reviews. I actually had pretty good reviews on both of the two packages that I'm going to show you. The pictures that were on there from customers, like they seemed like, like pretty good. So I was like, why not try it out? It wasn't that much money, so I said let's do it. First, we are trying out this pressed glitter palette from Beauty Glaze. It was $9.99 on Amazon. The shadows look like this. If you can't tell, I do have some on my eyes. So there's that palette. Then we found this makeup kit, like in the, I don't know, it was like recommended with this or something like that. That's how I found it. It has a highlighting palette. We have a face oil. We have a eyeshadow palette. Then we have a lipstick and a liquid lipstick. And this was $25 on Amazon. We're trying everything out today. I have almost everything on my face from what I have showed you. And we are going to see if this makeup from Amazon that is super affordable is actually worth spending your money even though it is super affordable. Okay, so if you want to see all of these products, what they look like, how they worked, how they applied on my face, make sure you keep on watching. Which one should we open up first? I think I'm just going to open up the palette first. Okay, so seems like a normal palette. Yeah, it's pretty cute, you know, some rose gold and then like a hot pink. Let's open it up. Oh, okay. Here's a little protector with a bunch of glitter flying off of it. Here are all the glitters. They are very, very glittery in person. They definitely look a little like loose glitters. Really what's going to matter is how they apply on the eyes. Let's swatch a couple real quick. I don't think these have names. They don't have names. We are swatching this magenta shade so you can definitely feel the glitter when you put your finger on there okay so your first initial swatch it goes on pretty well but then when you try to like build it up it pulls off the glitter so you can't really do that what if i was to just go like that it seems in this turquoise shade that there's a little bit of the purple and that somehow is on top of it and then it, there seems to be a little of that turquoise and that purple but i want to swatch this turquoise one and again same feeling as the other shade okay so it swatches pretty much the exact same i will say like the glitter looks really pretty reflecting off the light like wow that is <laughs> that's not bad let's swatch this orange copper shade right here same texture same feeling the blue one seems to be my favorite swatch so far. This one is a struggle. Very, very struggle. But again, the glitter reflects off the light. Like, very pretty. Middle shade, I think it's like a greenish color. Silver. It's right there on my pinky. Oh, that is pretty. The swatches are kind of, uh, I'm not so sure. But these are some pretty ass glitters. I'm going to give you that. I really am curious how they're going to look on the eye. The good news is, is that they come off pretty easy with a makeup wipe. So far, I'm pretty impressed. The swatches, uh, whatever, but completely different story once you're putting these on your eyes. I'm quite surprised in a good way. All right, on to this big old box. Like first impression, this is a cute little package. It was like a, I just got a PR package, except I just bought it on Amazon for $25. Okay, so this is just all of this brand's products on this little card. Wow, that really messed with the lighting. Now the packaging is not that bad either. Like it's pretty for a cheap, you know, little makeup brand. I think it's pretty cute. So I'm opening up the Velvet Matte Lip Pin. I don't even know what shade it is. It looks like this. This feels pretty cheap, I have to admit. Okay, so it's just like a lipstick, basically. Ooh, it's like a nude lip. I'm not mad at that at all. It seems to have pretty good pigment. Wow, you guys see that? Who knows, we might even end up liking that. And now we're gonna test out the Matte Liquid Lipstick. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, Kylie Cosmetics dupe. How funny is that? That is too funny. It says kissing right here. Oh, this smells weird. It smells like like the gross kind of chocolate, I think. I don't know, I don't like that smell. The color is pretty. I mean, there seems to be pretty good pigment. I don't really see patching or anything. The wand is kind of cheap feeling. I mean, not a bad swatch for a cheap ass lipstick. Oh, I didn't even realize that those were drips. Why didn't I catch on to that on the packaging? The Major Kylie dupe. This is obviously the Huda Beauty dupe. Looks exactly like it. I'm gonna open up the beauty oil real quick. I don't like do oils on my face before I apply makeup, but we're gonna try it out today. So that's pretty cute. It's cute packaging. Um, Rose Gold Elixir 24 Karat Gold Infused Beauty Oil. Oh, I'm sure. Let's open up this highlighting palette. Cute little thing. I mean, you know, has the protector. Oh, it even has a little mirror inside. Wow. Doesn't even look like the major cheap mirror. Here are the highlighting shades. I can already tell they're really not going to be my style, but let's swatch. Oh yeah, these are like super frosty. Oh my gosh, like what is that? I can already tell I'm not gonna like the palette of highlighters. Oh, is that what it is? A highlighter, blush, and bronzer? Uh, I don't know, it just says illuminating powder. I'm totally getting a highlight, blush, and bronzer type feel, but I don't even know if I'm gonna try these out on my face today. I just don't wanna ruin my makeup like that, to be honest. Those were kind of a joke. All right, the reason why we bought this little makeup set. Oh, it's purple, it's cute. I mean, it's cute, let's be honest. Okay, so there's not a mirror in this, but there's a mirror in the little highlighting palette. Whatever. It has a protector that's kind of like stuck to it. Okay, these shades are cute. Totally reminded of the Huda Beauty. I think it's like the Sunset palette, I think it is. This is why I bought it. I wanted to try out these shadows to see how they are. Let's just swatch a couple. Oh, there seems to be a little bit of pigment on there. Okay. Okay, so that shade was called Twilight. Now we're gonna try out Pumpkin. Ooh, okay, pigment. I'm feeling it. Let's try this uh, pink shimmer color that's called Vampire. Oh, very creamy. Oh, seems to be a lot of product. Has a lot of pigment in that one too, wow. Okay, so let's swatch this middle one that's called Bling. It's all right, it's pretty. It's got a champagne rose gold tone to it. So these shadows, you know, they don't seem that bad as far as like the swatching goes. And I'm very curious to see how they're gonna work on the eyes. So let's get started on the eyes. My eyes are already primed. I just use Bye Bye Under Eye to carve out my brow. And then I just put the rest on my lid and I set it with some Laura Mercier setting powder and now we're ready to dip into some shadows and see how these shadows look on the eyes. We're gonna dip into peachy right here. I went to look at it as if there was a mirror. <laughs> so much for that. So first impression of this shadow is that there seems to be like good pigment. I think I had too much on my brush to start off so now I'm trying to blend it out. What I'm doing now is grabbing my big, big fluffer and I'm just blending out the edges towards my brow bone. Now we're dipping into Pumpkin, the shade that we swatched, and we are just deepening up the crease area, starting on the outer corner and then working our way into the inner corner. Again, with the big fluffer, we are just blending out the edges. We are dipping into squash. So they seem to blend out pretty well. I'm not really noticing maybe a little tiny patchiness now that I'm looking at it. But once they all kind of start blending, they all just seem like the same color. You know, like I'm not like, oh, there's three different colors on your eyes. I think I'm gonna just jump into this purple shade because I just feel like I need to, I don't know, mess around a little bit. And we're still using the same brush.
Now we're getting some dimension in the eye. We're all blended out. I'm going to dip into Vampire, the shade that I swatched, get that on my lid, and then I'm gonna to top it off with some glitter from the other palette that we got. Put some on my finger and start getting this on my lid. I'm not gonna put a base or anything. There's a lot of pigment and it really shows up on the eyelid, even without a base. I am liking that. Just grabbing the blender to blend it out. Yeah, I'm really liking how that shade went on the eyelid, for sure. It's almost like so pretty that you don't even need to put glitter on it, but we have the other palette, so we have to try it just a little bit. I feel like you can't even see the purple shade that I did put on my eyes, but whatever. Now we're gonna dip into some of the glitter. I think I want to try this pink glitter. So I'm gonna be using some Too Faced glitter glue. Just getting some on the back of my hand. We're gonna use this flat brush. It's a tart brush. So I'm dipping into the glitter glue and I'm dipping into that pink glitter and we're gonna just get some on the center of the lid. See how this turns out. Hmm. It's like nothing's coming off the brush. So really, I mean, I feel like nothing's coming off the brush. I mean, maybe a little bit. Should I just keep trying? I feel like it's taking the shadow off. So I'm gonna try my finger. I think using my finger worked out way better. Okay, I mean, I don't know. Am I going to have to try those glitters just on their own by themselves? So I definitely think it took some shadow off. I'm going to clean up my eyes and we'll be right back. Alright, we are going to test out this face oil. I really hope this doesn't mess with my face and make me break out like even more than I already am. It's like that. Okay, I don't even know like... I use my beauty blender? I don't know. Let's just do what we see everybody else do with oil. <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, this is weird. I'm just gonna use my fingers because it smells kind of like citrusy. Oh, it's like gonna be like a lot under my eyes. What is going on? Man, if I break out because of this, I'm gonna be so upset. All right. I thought it was gonna be super shiny, but it's not like that shiny, so, well, that's cool. We'll see how it mixes with my foundation, but we are going to get my foundation, the rest of my face on off camera, and we'll be back. We are almost done, but I'm trying to figure out like what I wanna do for an inner corner highlight because there's really not one. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. Hopefully this doesn't ruin the look. Okay, I mean, that's giving it a little highlight. I mean, I guess we're just gonna have to be okay with that. So what I'm noticing is that there's definitely some creasing happening on my eyes. You can see where the shadow was taken off from trying to put the glitter on there and now it's creasing. So it's just really looking like a hot mess. So I don't know if those glitters just really can't go on top of a shadow. And if that's the case, that really sucks. But I think I'm gonna have to try this one more time and not have shadow on my lid and then just go in with that glitter and see how that looks. And then what I'm noticing with my face, we have some major creasing going on. I use the NARS Radiant Foundation and it does not crease on me whatsoever, but I have some major creasing going on on my smile line. I feel like if I touch my face, it takes the product off and I think it's all because of this oil. Unfortunately, like even my concealer is creasing and using the makeup revolution concealer and it has not creased on me like this before and I think it is because I got oil up here and I probably shouldn't have there's creasing going on on my lines on my forehead too so I think it is because of the oil so I don't know if I'll be using that oil again but I do want to put one of these lips on I'm not gonna put the regular lipstick on my lips because I'm just not a regular lipstick person I always 
lean toward liquid lipsticks, so that's the one that I'm gonna put on my lips today. Even though I really don't like the smell of this lipstick, we're just gonna see how it goes on the lips. Okay, so it's a cute nude color, for sure it's cute. I can't stand the smell, so I don't think I would ever wear this lipstick again. And I think that brings us to the end of this first impressions and review. Let me know what you guys are thinking about these products. Have you ever bought anything from Beauty Glazed on Amazon? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Amazon purchase, Beauty Glazed first impressions and review, please give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!